Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Stranded Alien Dawn. So, in the previous episode we finally managed to complete a couple of the mechs that we have been waiting for quite some time. So we have the small mech and the combat mech and basically the difference between them two is, yeah, obviously the combat mech is much larger and more powerful. It does have a missile launcher on one hand and machine guns in the other one. And the small one, well, I guess it's a bit more nimble, tinier and it does have a front-facing machine gun uh, right over there as well. So we did manage to test them out in, I think we had one or two raids, and uh, yeah, they are definitely very powerful, and the none of the bugs really got to our base, so the base defenses were kind of, yeah, just left there, didn't have to use them, which was great. Right, so today's episode is going to be quite busy as well, and it seems we do have a raid. Oh wow, we've got nine Juno demolishers, and overgrown insects and bloated. Okay, I guess that's a pretty good wave to really test out how strong we how strong we are, Sonova. And again, why don't you jump on, on the guns over there? And um, yeah, a couple of comments that I um, saw in the previous episodes as well. So Megatron had a very good comment over here. Um, yes, those mechs are absolutely fun. And um, I guess now this is probably the strongest wave we've had so far. And Mika also asked or expected that the mechs could help us out in some form of construction. And uh, right now the answer is no, unfortunately not. They're, they seem to be purely for defensive or offensive op operations. So I guess we'll see in the future, but I do agree. I, I think I might have mentioned in one of the previous episodes as well that trying to get off across the map is, uh, is quite long and pretty pretty difficult so it would be cool if maybe not these mechs but maybe some other kind of vehicles that would help us cross larger distances in shorter time okay so where are these guys right over there let's try and get a couple of them mm, there's two over there to maybe this location here so those missiles should be coming any moment now all right here we go guess we can walk up and greet them a little bit as well here we go takes quite a few hits but yeah none of these guys are matched to our mechs over here here we go let's hide the UI a little bit all right here comes another one and Nova you can advance a little bit whilst Ken provides cover fire oh no this guy's getting a little too close to us right here we go uh, okay, one second. Why don't we leap away? Oh, you can't leap away. Okay, come this way then. Oh, or never mind. Oh, almost thought they're gonna chew through our armor. Actually, yeah, 370 health only left. Uh, we have taken care of four of them already, which is lovely. Okay, maybe... Uh, you know what, let's just pop it over there. Here we go, Ken. And Nova, if you can start advancing a little bit as well. And here they come. Oh. Oh yeah. Maybe we're, we were a little too far forward. But we've almost lost half the armor. Okay, here we go. And you're still a thousand. We can do another barrage over here. Okay, I guess you can... Uh, be eliminated as well and while well, you look at that only two of each left so where is the last one? Oh, you're knocked out over there well lovely that's uh, another defense completed and can you can start heading this way as well i think we'll park you on this side and nova you can go over there okay lovely so that's another wave done probably the strongest one we've seen so far and here we go let's just dismount them and uh, oh yeah you're gonna need some repairs now as well so another great idea that we have is from Ian and um, he recommended that we should build a few more mechs for everyone whose combat is just about three let me just see if we go to hunting and it seems Lara is only two Quinn is three and everyone else is pretty high actually and Ian I totally agree with you as well we should definitely build a couple more sniper rifles I believe one is already queued up in here let's see oh yeah we're just waiting for the worker Ken what are you up to right so you're doing some clothes why don't you jump on the sniper instead because right now uh, it seemed that Lara 
is actually the survivor that will not be able to use our mechs. Lara is definitely gonna get the sniper rifle and I think in the future as well what we could do... Oh, you don't have many clothes left. Well, that's not good. Let's give another helmet and yeah, in the future perhaps we can position her somewhere on the walls to build up her skills. Well, there's a few more animals in here. Okay, so you guys can go over there. There we go. Yes, sniper rifles. We'll get some more mechs as well. I think right now we're just trying to build up our stockpiles again. Especially with metal alloy. So I have quickly constructed another mate material fabricator over here. And that is purely doing metal alloys for us. Whilst that is all happening, we are expanding our defensive perimeter. Because, yeah, everything's a little too close over here. And I think these walls can be moved... A little bit closer as well. There we go. Okay, and then once they're done, we'll put the guns on them. And in this zone here, I think... Yeah. This whole fence can now go. Same with you guys. Oh, we can't really spin you around, can we? No. Okay, and this section here... Lovely. Just gives us a bit more space to work with. Now, power-wise, it seems we are not doing so good. So, I am thinking that we shall start putting down some more solar panels around this area. Now when it comes to the power poles, I think we do want to transition into the metal ones now. Because they are a little sturdier. Let's have a look, that's the furthest we can go, so let's place one over there. Defenses, okay, so since we are or have moved the walls already, I think we can also, if we can grab all of them, uh, not deconstruct, let's try and place you all just a little further up here okay oh no we messed it up okay cancel this one and i think one was over there and this one over here right so whilst we wait for all this construction to be completed i just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys as well for watching the videos still commenting i absolutely love receiving comments and if you have some great ideas for the future as well do let me know if there's anything specific you'd like us to sort of try out and build in here i think a couple of things we haven't quite tested is let's say branching for example yes there hasn't been or at least i haven't felt a massive need for it just yet but I do hope that in the future you know ranching perhaps becomes a bit more important as well or perhaps ranching could be more useful in the other uh, scenario I think it was the the harvest sow and sell yeah I have not tried that one but perhaps it's more useful over there to sort of build up the stockpiles for uh, fertilizer as well and get more crops to, through the house to sell them off planet but um, yeah, just let me know. Feel free to comment below if, if there's anything you want to you wanna see us build over here. Right, so that section is done. Uh, hold on a second. Did we move the wrong thing over? I think that's where the lasers are supposed to go. Okay, let's move you out of the way as well. You're going to go over there. Uh, we've got the power poles in already. So that is lovely. Tachyon source. Okay, Quinn, how are we feeling? Pretty good. I guess we can send Quinn out. I know it's night time and it might be a little bit tired. But it's worth checking out in case we get another another breakthrough. And I'd really want to have a breakthrough for power production. One for the solar panels or, or wind turbines. Either one is fine. Because right now we just have to keep constructing tons and tons of both options. So I think over here as well we're going to leave like a three wide cap. I do want to leave one over there as well just in case we need to access the area or the fence for defending the colony. Who knows? And okay everything else seems to be going pretty well. So we do have options. Once we clear up this um, the current sort of kill zones I do actually want to start building a slightly more magnificent one and creating like a new main entrance that is five five tiles wide over here but for that we are gonna need a quite a bit more fuel uh, right let's have a look over here as well liquid fuel 300 yeah I guess that is fine maybe in the future we'll have more material fabricators here as well uh, I don't think we really need this genius straight so maybe dismantle the machine let's see what happens oh yeah almost forgot we we do have this extreme heat wave which means outside temperatures are 20 degrees higher than usual during this disaster so it's yeah 52 degrees outside which is absolutely terrible inside as well 40 degrees oh dear how's our batteries doing oh okay we don't have 
a lot of power left. Producing 188, consuming 156. So we're gonna have to turn off something. Yep, this section here, everything on circuit three is actually taking quite a quite a bit of power. And I guess for the time being, we could perhaps turn off of one of them just to conserve a bit of energy. Let's have a look. You're producing a bit more now as well, which is great. And yeah, we probably have to do a couple more wind turbines around this area as well three should be enough for now and then in the future if we do want to tidy this up a little bit we can just move them around should be should be fine okay so how are we going here that's all completed so what i'm thinking is we're going to bring those incendiary traps a little bit closer let's say they are kind of like the last line of defense oh no Okay, cancel this one, and these two can go over here. Uh, I see what's happened. So when I said that we want to move them, I think I pressed V, which means we copied them. Yeah, we don't want to do, do that. We just want to move them over. Okay, well, we've got like four over here, so I guess you can move over to this side. So Ken's been pretty busy constructing or tailoring quite a few different types of equipment and clothes here but it seems we don't have enough resources so I think it's not the alloy so that means it must be the synthetic textiles. One thing we did get some episodes ago was the synth plant field over here which we have not planted yet, just yet. I mean we don't really need those trees we've got a massive forest over here so I guess we could swap you over. Okay yeah let's do that let's get rid of those trees and uh, it was only 50% bonus over here so 75 might be a little bit better. It does take a very long time 24 days so it's just a just like the crystals over here and yeah we're not gonna benefit or able to harvest anything anytime soon cool so what are we doing next power situation let's have a look at this so batteries are starting to fill up pretty nicely if we want to construct another one well we do have the electronics and the metal alloys so why don't we place another one and again what are you up to now okay you're gonna make us some more fuel that's fine but i do feel it would be more useful to keep you on those salvage mi missions and there was a couple up here as well okay yep scavenge that one as well just uh, hoping that we'll find some more useful resources without having to take all this time to construct them over here things are rotting away malfunctioned material fabricator so that is being fixed now as well. Right, so another wave has arrived. Quite a few of those monsters, but at least there's no Junos. Ember, why don't you jump on that one? Nova, you are done as well. So please do make, you, make your way over. Here we go. And once you are closer, let's take a look. Now we've got a pretty massive cluster over here. So off you go. Okay, Lara, you might want to run. Yeah, it's about to get spicy over here. Nova, you can advance. Ember is still fine over there. Everything seems to be pretty good so far. Okay, there's not that many over there, but it sort of like to run away. So maybe this will pull them closer. Not entirely sure, but I guess we'll see. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's help out Nova as well. And only four left. Okay. Everything is complete and it is it is very lovely to see how quick and easy it is. I mean, yeah, first few times I'd say it, it's been very satisfying watching the mechs do the work. But um, the further we go, the more I'm starting to feel like it's it just feels a little bit too easy. Isn't it? I mean, perhaps once we get to like year five, maybe the waves get like extremely ridiculous. And once we sort of start using carbon and more advanced materials, whilst we are expanding the base, perhaps that will, you know, bring us some slightly more difficult waves of, of bugs to defend against. But right now, yeah, it just seems it's a little little bit too easy. A spaceship debris crash, okay. Don't think we really need to go there right now. Let's have a quick check on batteries as well. Oh, well, you look at that. Lovely. Everything's full. That's what we like to see. Uh, this field is now complete as well, which is amazing. These foundations can go now. Let's reconstruct them real quick. Right, you can be moved up as well. There we go. And that means, yeah, the fence door can go. Fences. 
same on this side. So just a second ago I was looking around why Emeline was running around hauling things whilst she should really be cooking. I mean she's cooking now or was a second ago but um, yeah so it doesn't look like we have a lot of foods in here and upon investigating our cook stoves it seems okay yeah we don't have a lot of recipes. So I think with this one, we're just going to remove everything, reset it. Yeah, we still have a few recipes in there, which were pretty much the same. So I think we haven't actually updated it in, in a while. So let's, uh, yeah, give them a few more advanced recipes. We don't, can't do the mushroom one here because we don't have the glitter gaps. And they're actually pretty far from us. So I think for now, we can pretty much do everything else to make our guys a little bit more happier. All right, here we go. We got chef steak as well I think four of everything should be should be good so there we go and I guess this stove over here could be maybe hot drinks and quick recipes whereas this one oh no that's gonna take long as well maybe this one will be like chef's recipes and then hot drinks coffee let's do five go back more and uh, tea we can do with both as well, doesn't really matter which one they use. Right, so what's our next step now that everything is pretty much tidied up over here? What we have left is just moving you over here. Okay, there we go, and I guess one of you guys can... Or actually, no, let's leave you where you are right now. Because I think we have just too many of those machine gun turrets. Um, right, so our next goal will be to build this Ansible relay. And what this is, is a highly sophisticated artificial intelligence system capable of establishing faster than light communication between dozens of planets required for colonization of new galactic sectors such as the outer worlds. Right, okay, lovely. It is pretty, pretty difficult to construct this one because it needs 50 electronics, 10 CPU cores which I think we are not too far off, uh, cement over here is 500 and carbon nanotubes 500 as well so the materials are not so bad we could probably yeah get it done in a, in a I guess in a few days but what is a little bit worrying me is the power it consumes because right now if you look over here we're only producing 260 during night yeah so that's not good we're definitely gonna have to increase our sort of wind park and solar panels over here I guess it's just gonna take us a little little longer because it's yeah, it's just the materials that we need. Now, wind is doing pretty okay right now. And you take... Mm, metal alloys as well. Oh, this reminds me. We can turn this one on again. Because that was a bit problematic before when we weren't producing enough electricity. Oh, we have scavenged one of the pulse rifles, I think. And the rest should be should be fine. So yeah, this Ansible relay, I am... Wow, okay. Wait a second, that is massive. Definitely not gonna fit over here. I guess here would be lovely. Or maybe in this corner, actually. Now, before we construct it, though... Yes, power is one problem. But I don't feel like ball fences is the way to go about uh, defending this zone over here. So let's... Um, First of all, fix up this wall, and I think, yeah, all of you can go. It's probably the same on this side, isn't it? Let's remove you as well, and uh, if we look at the defenses, perhaps now is the time to finally start building some of the fortifications. I do want to do the force field barriers, but our production for, for power or electricity is not very good right now, so that leaves us with the carbon uh, fortifications. Okay, thunderstorms are lovely. We just caught one lightning bolt over here. But I think our batteries were already full, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Right, resource-wise, things are looking okay. And do we have any interesting expeditions as well? There's a crash site over here, but that's gonna be gone in a, in a few minutes. Oh wow, that looked pretty cool. I love how we can just rotate and see where everyone is as well. Emeline, what are you doing? Oh, you were up there. Okay, I see. Just bringing some uh, shoes over. Right, so I think our goals are 
pretty clear for the for the next episode main goal is to get the ansible relay up and running it is massive but i think this corner might be pretty good somewhere around here before we make this happen is well we, we do need two things we do need to improve our defensive perimeter around this area perhaps some turrets as well scattered around the wall and then we also need to improve our power but i guess we might just have to continue plopping down those wind turbines and solar panels but i would like to get some more breakthroughs and for that to happen yeah quinn where are you oh you're all the way there well yeah the only way we can get those breakthroughs is by doing missions so quinn you are gonna go and explore and let's see let's put nova on this one i hope you are happy but here you go okay quinn you're there nova right you're running home as well so that's good yeah let's try and explore a little bit further and if we get lucky and if the rng gods smile upon us we might just be able to get our hands on either i think one was the carbon wind turbines and there was two upgrades or two different breakthroughs for the solar panels as well okay so i think that's gonna be enough for this episode so do let me know if there's anything else we want to construct in our in our lovely colony over here whilst we are improving our defenses and building towards the ansible relay we have pretty pretty clear goals and steps how we can uh, reach the final stage of the game so so yeah we'll carry on doing that in our next episode so in the meanwhile thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one